What's up you guys? This is Lego Entei Mini Pal Subways. Today we're going to be doing a little something called the uh, Lego Train uh, Custom Lego MTA Train Update as well as PTA Train Update for uh, the channel and I'm going to be showing you my uh, trains I have currently built on this channel as of right now. So let's get started. Starting off here, these are the Redbird subway cars, the R33s. They are often referred to as the R33 main lines. They operate in married pairs. And now I should mention that this is a smaller scale uh, compared to the other Redbirds I built back in the past on this channel because these are a smaller scale while the other ones were bigger. But since I decided to change the scale on my trains, I thought I changed it to a smaller scale since uh, I want trains that run faster to operate more cars. But however, this uh, set only has two cars, but if I do get more red pieces, I might plan to make a four car set out of these as well in the future. But there's only two for now. There's... Well, there are there is a sticker there, but I plan to put more accessories because I need to find like certain uh, car numbers. Not sure what to number this set. And this is, yes, indeed a married pair, so it's two cars only for now. And this one's a power car. And this one's a non-powered. So, this is what the uh, Redbird is. R33 mainline, Redbird subway cars. Only two cars built. Plan to make four in the future. Let's go to the next train. This next train right here is the R33 main line, but this one's a silver and blue scheme. I did show this in my community post back in the past with doors and uh, bogies, but uh, I took them off because I used the doors for another train. So this is its current state right now, but I do have some other news to show later in the video. So stay tuned if you're still watching this in the premiere, because there's some other things I plan to do with this card, but it's still being, it's still, um, in its build stage right now this is going to be this is the power car by the way i was doing some testings off screen back when i had the doors and the bogies and this is the only car that's built but i do plan to make another one since uh, this also operated i think single cars i'm very i think it's single cars i have to look i have to look back on this this is a silver and blue scheme right now i plan to make another car like i said might make four cars later in the future and also i might do a um Train of many colors. Uh, when I revamp the green bird, I could probably put this one with it and hook it up with the red bird. So yeah, so this is a, a silver and blue version of the R33 main line. And let's move on to the next train. So this here is the R142A5 car set that I did showcase uh, recently uh, days ago in the video in the short. And as well as the five car test. Yes, I have made a five car set of R142A Lego. Lego R142A subway cars, R142As are made by Kawasaki. I did say I made a R188s as well since they were a bigger scale back then because the cars look identical. It's just that the R188 has different equipment and operates a certain uh, type of set uh, that differs from uh, the others because the 7 uses them for the CBTC. But unlike, uh, well, you know. But anyway, um, this is the five cars that are Lego R142A subway cars. The set numbers are 77. 76 to 7780, 7780s right here, and this is the power car pretty much. Now I plan to do some slight different modifications of it off screen. Well, it's not on now, but uh, I recently got more parts. I'm probably gonna do a little something to the to these trains just to uh, make the scale a little bit different. But you might, you guys might notice in the future I'm gonna do a little something with these, but they're gonna be still identical though to the change right now. But but don't worry about it. So yeah, this is five. This is a five car set. R142As are from Kawasaki. They operate on the four line. You might see them on the five sometimes because there are times where five runs a certain way. It will borrow some Jerome sets. So, yes, R142As did run on the five at one point. Uh, R142As did run on the six back then until they got their fleet swapped and upgraded to R188s. As since, and they've been running on the seven since it's swapped with the R62As and the R62As that were on the seven at one point operate on the six right now. And some other R142As that were left on the 6 also uh, went to the 4. So yeah, uh, R142A subway cars, they run on the 4 right now. And it would be cool if they operate on the 1, 2, or 3. I mean, it did operate on the 2 at one point. It was very, it's very rare. But then again, yeah, this R142A subway car is Lego version of it. I do plan to make the R142 the same way, 5 cars. But I don't know which set number it should go for. But I think there's one that's in my mind I could do. But yeah. R142A. I plan to make R142 in the future. It's just that it's gonna be the same kind of train, except that you don't see the these. You're not gonna see these um 
profile like uh breaks on the side of it because our own 42 a's have that on the side while our 142s they don't really have it and also the face is slightly different but it's gonna be identical in lego though but yeah let's move on to the next train this next one here is the one of the pta trains that i did make out of lego it's the plt threes and i did say that these are one of my favorite trains from the pta series potato city subway potato Tra transit authority for those of you who play the pta games on roblox yes um these are the plt threes that run on the seven line these cars also run on the newport lines numbered 7000 to 7199 and they operate in merry pairs there's going to be a revamped look of them in the Newport Lines game when it comes out on Roblox, which I can't wait for. I really can't wait for the game. Uh, they still are uh, trying to get it done. It's on the ones when they will uh, release. I think I forgot. I'm not sure what they Well, I'm still waiting on um, when they will release it, but I can't wait to play the game. It looks very, very cool, though. So the, these these are the two car set PLT 3s out of Lego. I do plan to hopefully make four cars, possibly. And uh, these are the only two that I built right now, numbered uh, 7136 and 7137. Not sure which other two numbers I would pick for the set. As you can see right here, this is the has the PTA logo on the sides of it. Uh, yes, uh, they are signed as a 7. I do plan to make it signed as some other lines as well. Um, and the power car is uh, this one right here, number 7137. That's the powered car. And... Uh, the train yet yeah. train runs very well still um doesn't have the hub inside because i only have three of them and they're on the other trains so uh this is non-power for now but this is the plt3 um and let's move on to the next train this next one here is the r211 a's uh numbers 4069 and 4065 r211 a's yes these are the r211 a's i said a's because they differ from the 211 t's which i will get to in a second so there's only two cars built for the r211 a's now i got comments saying that i should build a five car set which i do plan to but there's some slight modifications i have to do to the power car which is number 4069 4069 is the power car and judging by the numbers yes these are the pilot numbers i chose for as well as the first set of r211 a's to be entering service on the a line which they are still running on the a right now uh and also yes when i say i'll make a fire car set when i say that I make a slight modification is because the power car well respectively if i if i was to operate a more uh 64 cars or 75 footers like the r46 r68 etc etc the the and the power car like i said for um for the r142a since it has two motors since i did a modification on it to operate two motors since it has a uh, more cars to pull and push and then when the r211as operate with five cars i will have to uh put another motor in but i don't know if it's going to reach the hub be in the middle of the train because i will have to go online to find an extension wire to put the other motor to connect to connect to the terminal more way easier instead of like you know stretching out because it's going to be kind of hard to uh for the bogey to turn the train since the wire is being pulled from it between the the terminal and the hub and the motor so because if, if it's that then i'm gonna have to go on the website to find out where the extension wire is if I make five cars at least. But there's only two for now. Now I also got some other comments saying that I should build the r 2 t Which I do plan to uh, in the future to make r 2 t It's going to be the same way I make these cars. Uh, let me just show you what the back looks like. So uh, this is the back of the r 2 a uh, Yes I did say um would make the same way as the r uh, the r 2 t The same as r 2 a It's just that this part right here like where I'm playing with my finger. I'm going to try to like do like a you know like one of those Lego trains that have like a open gangway path where the trains will uh, for the Lego passengers to uh, go between trains. I will have to put like a little uh, frame right up here and then make like an opening so you can guys could see the whole train instead of seeing these doors hanging around. So I'll have to put a frame here and make like a little walkway right right here. And I will do the same thing for the B cars when I do build in the future and yeah that's the r211a right now only two cars 4065 4069 and it's a merry pair at the moment and i will show you guys what's oh yeah the plt1 i'll show you guys the status of that right about now
All right, guys, so this is the PLT-1 right now. Yes, uh, the train is still in the same state as it was last time when I showed you guys it. But however, if you look right over here, I have more parts for the PLT-1 as well as some other trains I plan to build next. Um, the PLT-1 is still... This is a, this is the non-powered car right now, so I'm just going to install the doors. Well, one side has doors already installed, so I'm going to have to install install the other side which right here you can see the inside right now the plt1 so the plt1 right now is only this is only this is the only car built right now and i'll build the other car right after this video is finished so yeah this is the update and uh these are the parts i got so i plan to uh build some other trains and i'll keep you up to date on the community post as to what i build and the PLT one should be uh, showcasing sometime this week for the for when it's run for when it runs on the layout. So I'll keep you guys posted on um, what when uh, the the PLT one is fully built in its two car set, Mary pair, and next and last. Just to show you a quick update on the Times Square Forty Second Street one, two, and three train. This is the track setup right now, and I do plan to do this with R sixty two. Or R62 and so uh, and R62A subway cars operating on the one R62 for the three and R142 on the two train and I'll be also showcasing some Easter eggs in the Mini Pals run which will come sometime this month and I'll keep you up to date when that will happen. So without any further ado, uh, and thank you guys for enjoying this video. I'll be uh, seeing you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys updated on the community posts. And this is an update for what's going on right now for my collection. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.